Hello everybody and thank you for joining Real Men Clean. It's your man Kenny D and today we have a cook and clean with me and the star of the show is curry chicken, naan and cauliflower rice. Yes, this is keto friendly and it's an instant pot recipe. Let's get cooking guys. All of the list of ingredients and the how to, it will be listed in the description below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Now let's get going guys. All right, so let's start by chopping up some onions. Let's dice that up, all right? Get a couple of tomatoes, dice those things up there. Start dicing up your mint leaves. Start dicing up your chilies. Take your chicken, start chopping that up. And if you have children, I would recommend taking out all the bone just so you don't create any choking hazards all right so take your chicken and throw it into a large pot and start adding your spices right now I'm adding my half of the chili powder which is about a tablespoon we're gonna add in the half turmeric we're also gonna add in the full amount of the curry powder we're gonna add in the cumin powder the coriander powder and some salt and we're gonna give that sucker a good stir you want to let this sit and marinate for about 25 minutes and in the meantime we're gonna get our cauliflower rice going so you just get a whole head of cauliflower I'm putting this in our food processor which happens to have a cheese grater on the top so it makes things a little bit easier to make that rice if you don't have one just use your regular cheese grater All right, so we're getting busy here, cutting this down to size. All right, so it's about time to start sauteing the onions. So we got a little bit of EVOO there, extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna start taking our onions, we're gonna toss it in there and let's saute a bit. Let those get it translucent, add in your chilies. Stir that around. Now it's a good time to add the rest of those ingredients. So we're gonna add the rest of the chili powder and the rest of the turmeric into this mix. Do not add the gram masala right away. We're gonna add that in at the end. Give that a stir. All right, we're gonna add in the mint leaves right now. You don't have to add in the mint leaves. I kind of like the flavor. It's your choice. We're gonna add in the chicken. Give that a bit of a stir. All right, we're gonna take those diced tomatoes and toss those in there. We're also gonna grab some of that good old chicken stock. We're gonna add about three quarters of a cup of that in there. We're also gonna add three tablespoons of almond flour. Now this is gonna add a little bit of texture to the uh, mixture. You don't have to add it, but if you like it, your curry a little bit watery, that's fine. If you don't, add a little bit of this almond flour. It goes a long way. Now put the lid on there, turn it off, and set your instant pot to about 11 minutes and try and clean as you go you see the myth has been broken men do clean as they cook all right so I don't want things to burn so I'm gonna put that on hold and I'm gonna start working on the cauliflower rice. So we got ourselves some avocado oil here. We're gonna start adding our cauliflower rice into there. Give that a good stir. And yes, this makes a huge mess, so take your time. I have the temperature about medium high right now. Also, I add in a little bit of uh, chicken stock into that, or chicken broth. Um, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you're pretty much good to go with that. Right now, I'm trying to make the naan. So with the naan, we added in 
Uh, I think it was a cup and a half of uh, our almond flour. We added a teaspoon of baking powder. And we added two large eggs into that mix. So we're gonna get ourselves a double boiler and we're going to stick in our yogurt and our cheese. So we got about three cups of uh, mozzarella cheese and got a couple of tablespoons of your high fat yogurt. So we're gonna keep stirring this sucker around like that all mix and, and then it'll all melt in there. All right, so I don't know what happened here. I think the video cut out when I was trying to make more of this uh, naan bread. So you know what? I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. You're gonna mix these two ingredients together after you incorporate the eggs into the almond flour. You're gonna mix those two ingredients together. You're gonna get a baking sheet with some parchment paper. You're gonna spread out the mixture onto that parchment paper about a quarter cup at a time. It's gonna be a little gooey. Don't worry about it. Just spread it out as best as, best as you can. Throw it in the oven at 375 degrees for about 11 minutes. All right, so we have our chicken that is pretty much ready to go there. So we open the Instant Pot. We turn that sucker back onto saute mode. Let that saute for about another uh, five minutes or so. We're gonna add in the garam masala. And that's pretty much ready. So we're also grabbing some of this delicious ghee. We're gonna mix some uh, garlic, whole garlic in with the ghee. Get that cooked down a bit. Don't let the garlic burn because it does taste bitter. You're gonna take that ghee butter, spread this on that naan. It's gonna be so delicious. Look how good that looks. There you go. A little, little bit of color, a little bit of extra flavor. And those are done. Nan bread is awesome. So cheesy, so good. Perfectly cooked. And that curry. Mmm. The curry's to die for. Mmm. Mmm. Now it's time to clean. Alright, you better believe it. That was delicious. Now it is time to clean, so we're getting busy now. Yes, I'm sorry about that if it was a real quick rundown and you didn't quite follow. Like I said earlier on, you can get the recipe in the description below. Yeah, this dishwasher is at capacity. So I'm gonna have to go old school for the remainder of the dishes. I'm gonna have to do this by hand. All right, so now we're just filling up this Ecos, this really nice Costco brand dish soap. Comment below guys if you like that recipe, if you want me to do more cooking videos, 
or cook and clean videos that is. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell. I never said I was good at washing these dishes, but you know what? At least I'm washing them, all right? I'm doing this by hand, doing the best I can. If you guys have any tips out there, let me know, leave it in the comments below. Oh yeah, and right now I am contemplating on shaving the beard. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I shave it? Should I keep it? I kind of like the rustic look, but the wife does say it makes me look a little bit older. That's all right, I can get over that, but let me know what you guys think. Here we go with the washing of the cast iron. Gotta represent. Song is gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name But you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold Your body also close No, I can't forget no. Oh, and by the way, I use flaxseed oil to finish off my cast iron pan. Let that sit. Don't use a whole lot, but just enough to seal that pan up nice. And we're using our method cleaner for the table. This does work wonders. Talked about this in other videos. It is a, an excellent product and would recommend it to pretty much anyone. Alright, what's going on there? Either my pants are hiked down too far, or my underwear is pulled way up too high. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's been a blast cooking and cleaning with you. If you like what you saw, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this and leave comments below. Take care, guys. <laughs>